Jesus, the friend of publicans and sinners. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking. And ye say, Behold a gluttonous man, and a winebibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. Luke 7 verse 34. Jesus was called the friend of publicans and sinners, not a complimentary term in his day. Jewish people especially hated publicans because publicans had sold out to the enemy, i.e., Rome. Roman officials sold Jewish citizens the right to collect taxes for Rome. These publicans bought the right to collect taxes, and then they added their profits or wages. If an unwilling Jewish taxpayer refused to pay his taxes, Roman soldiers were used to reinforce the publicans' demands. Publicans were religiously unclean because they fellowshiped with Gentiles, and they were morally unclean for taking advantage of the poor and the innocent. Because the common people hated publicans, when Jesus went to eat with them, some observers questioned Jesus' motives, or at least his judgment. Jesus responded to this criticism, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners, to repentance, Mark 2 verse 17. Lord Jesus, you did not come just for good people, but you came to save all kinds of sinners, including me. The Jewish people also criticized Jesus for eating with sinners. There were people of Jewish blood who refused to keep the Jewish law, to attend the Sabbath observance and to honor God. The average Jewish person considered a sinner to be lost. But Jesus wanted everyone to know that he came into the world to save one and all, no matter if their behavior was righteous or sinful. Jesus, you were the friend of publicans and sinners while on earth. Now you welcome all people to salvation. Go deeper, Luke 5 verses 27 to 32. Jesus loves and accepts any and all, no matter if their behavior is righteous or sinful. Tomorrow, the Holy Spirit, the anointing.